For a while now, the automotive news rumor mill has been breathlessly promising an SUV based on the Nissan LEAF. This just revealed IMX Tokyo Motor Show concept vehicle appears to be both exactly that vehicle, and yet, not that vehicle at all. Nissan's knife-edged IMX crossover is a long-range electric SUV that seeks to encapsulate the company's intelligent mobility initiative in a single vehicle. That means not only is it a battery-powered proposition, it also features a future version of the company's ProPilot automated driving hardware that incorporates fully autonomous running. Powered by a pair of electric motors yielding 429 horsepower and a whopping 516 pound-feet of torque, the all-wheel drive IMX offers both complete hands-off driving as well as a manual mode if the driver wants to take the wheel. About the size of a Nissan Rogue, the IMX doesn't actually ride on a derivative of the 2018 Nissan LEAF's platform at all. It sits atop a new architecture that affords a completely flat floor and room for a high-capacity battery pack. At a pre-show seminar at its Advanced Technology Center in Kanagawa, company officials told me that by 2022, 70% of Nissan EVs will be built on this scalable new architecture. While Nissan hasn't spelled out how big of a battery the IMX packs, the company says it provides for 600 kilometers of range, 372 miles, on Japan's, comparatively lenient, JCO8 test cycle. The IMX's interior features a wraparound panoramic OLED instrument panel as well as unusual seats that have been partially 3D printed and covered in material that features a laser etched pattern. Switches and knobs are notable by their absence with most functions being carried out by hand gestures and eye movements, as well as spoken commands. An already sleek cabin becomes even more minimalist when ProPilot mode is selected. The yoke-style steering wheel and pedals fold out of the way, and the seats automatically recline to encourage relaxation and conversation. Nissan has been talking up the idea of using EVs as mobile, on-demand power stations for some years now and the IMX takes this idea to the next level thanks to its automated drive capability. Theoretically, the vehicle could drop off its occupants and then be directed to go park itself, where it could connect and return power back to the grid. One can envision a day where this capability could be leveraged to autonomously drive vehicles without occupants to areas with power outages, using the cars to provide temporary emergency power relief to residences and buildings. Certainly, Nissan would be wise to consider producing an all-electric SUV to capitalize on the booming popularity of soft rotors in major markets worldwide but I wouldn't necessarily expect a production electric SUV to look much like the IMX seen here. After all, at the 2015 Tokyo Motor Show, the Japanese automaker revealed its racy IDS concept hatchback, a show car that shared some of the IMX's styling ideas. That vehicle was said to presage the styling of the second-generation LEAF. But now that the production version has been revealed, we know that the vehicles look very different, with the retail model appearing significantly more conservative than the show car. I mentioned 2022 earlier, and that won't just be the time frame when Nissan's new EV platform comes of age. It's also the year that Renault-Nissan chairman Carlos Ghosn referenced in mid-September when he announced Alliance 2022, an ambitious six-year plan calling not just for a dozen new EV models, but also new vehicle connectivity and mobility services, and the launch of a robo-vehicle ride-hailing service. The accompanying new model blitz also includes 40 different vehicles with varying levels of automated driving. These as yet unspecified models are to be launched under Nissan, Renault and Mitsubishi nameplates, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see at least one battery electric Nissan SUV in the total. We'll just have to wait and see if it looks like the IMX. Thesis. Midsize SUVs are the hottest things in the new car market worldwide. Antithesis. 
Auto manufacturers want to sell lots of electric cars. Synthesis. Build an electric SUV. Duh. So why is no one giving customers what they want? Tis a conundrum. Even the high priest of electric cars, Elon Musk, failed to notice that the sedan is out and the mid-size SUV is in. Instead of wasting two years getting the gargantuan Model X off the ground, perhaps he should have been going full speed ahead on the Model Y oh well. Live and learn. At the Tokyo Auto Show going on this week, Nissan has the IMX mid-size electric SUV on its stand. It's what everyone is looking for, compact size, dual motors with 429 horsepower combined, 516 pound-feet of torque, all-wheel drive, and most importantly, 372 miles of all-electric range. That's according to the more than generous Japanese test cycle. Knock off about a third to get an idea what the EPA range would probably be. The in part of the name stands for Intelligent Mobility, the technology that Nissan says will allow fully autonomous driving, self-parking, and vehicle-to-grid connectivity that can help power a home or stabilize the local electrical grid. So, is the IMX just a grown-up version of the Nissan Leaf? No, not really. It is built on a new, dedicated electric vehicle chassis that will be the foundation for most of the 12 new electric cars Chairman Carlos Ghosn says will arrive from Nissan by 2022. Other than some technology bits, it shares nothing with the LEAF. It is roughly the size of a current Nissan Rogue. In self-driving mode, the pedals and steering wheel tuck out of the way to increase the room available to the driver. The seats tilt back for a more comfortable ride and the cabin will be filled with soothing lights to help the occupants relax. The interior features a wrap-around panoramic OLED instrument panel. The seats have 3D printed components and feature laser etch stitching. Switches and knobs are largely absent, with most functions being carried out by hand gestures and eye movements, as well as spoken commands. Frankly, that makes more sense than the fussy touch screens that Tesla owners adore but which require drivers to take their eyes off the road frequently. Of course, in a world where self-driving cars are the norm, none of that will matter. How much does the IMX prototype resemble an actual production car? Not that much, which is fortunate because the concept is but ugly especially with the jet fighter from the 50s air intakes that start at the front and extend rearward along the car's flanks. Before the second-generation Nissan Leaf was revealed, the company showed the world an equally awkward ideas concept. Most of the extreme elements of that concept did not make it into production, thankfully. All of today's concept cars feature rear doors hinged at the back, but no major manufacturer except for BMW, with the i3, has had the courage to actually produce a car with so-called suicide doors. Even the Porsche Mission E will lose its rear hinge doors when production begins, leaving it looking more like a Dodge Charger than a trend-setting electric sports sedan from Stuttgart. When will Nissan actually build an electric SUV and what will it look like? No one knows or the ones who do aren't saying. The Nissan Leaf may have just hit the streets here in Japan last month, but the automaker is already hard at work looking to capitalize on the sportier looking, and hopefully sportier driving, variant with the Nissan Leaf Nismo concept. Looking to bring its performance heritage and relatively recent electric expertise together, the Leaf Nismo concept sets out to further prove that electric cars can be just as fun to drive as they are good for the environment. The Leaf Nismo concept is pretty mild by Nismo standards, but pretty wild for a Leaf. The last Leaf Nismo, sold exclusively in Japan, was little more than a Leaf with red accents, but the new concept backs up the red accents with a lowered, sport-tuned suspension sticky continental summer tires, and revised computer tuning that makes the Leafs 147 horsepower and 236 pounds FT of torque available quicker than in the standard Leaf. The revised body work also gives the Leaf Nismo concept some performance enhancements, says Nissan.
The new lower fascia and spoiler are designed to reduce lift without ruining the Leaf's impressive 0.28 coefficient of drag. There are currently no plans to put the Leaf Nismo into production, but given the manufacturer's desires to both expand the appeal of the Leaf and the credibility of the Nismo brand, we wouldn't be surprised to see it in showrooms and on streets worldwide.